This is KCAL News, Los Angeles. And now here at 9, Hollywood Studios push back, going public for the first time since writers went on strike, revealing just how far apart both sides really are. Hollywood could be in for a long dispute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, more, more of this wild weather. Not one, but now two tornadoes touching down in the Southland and snow stranding some drivers in our local mountains. The NFL under investigation, workers reporting stories of... Yeah, well, Jasmine, you know, Universal Studios is just one of the places that Hollywood writers are picketing for a new and fair contract. And this is day three of the strike. And for the first time, we've heard from the Hollywood Studios on the union's demands. And they're fighting back pretty hard. So it's become pretty clear that neither sides are on the same page. They are able to, you know, give shows based on the things that come out of our brains. And all we're saying is compensate us for that in, in a reasonable way. We're not looking to break the bank. From the picket lines outside every major Hollywood studio with some familiar faces to our first look inside a spirited solidarity rally Wednesday night. The local head of the Teamsters vowed support and had a defiant message for the studios. And we all see what's happening right now in Hollywood. They're starving all of us out. We have to fight. We have to keep fighting together. And what I like to say to the studios is if you want to On Thursday, it became very clear both sides are digging in for a long fight. On Thursday, the major studios fired back at the union, publicly for the first time with a lengthy statement challenging the union's top demands. On mandatory staffing, we don't agree with applying a one-size-fits-all solution to shows that are unique and different in their approach to creative staffing. Writers are digging in on this. Writers aren't getting the opportunity to go to set. They're not getting an opportunity to learn the whole production process. And that career path is just breaking down. As for artificial intelligence, the studio... Everyone. I would say that the same AI process could be used to replace almost any job on the planet. And on streaming, the studios say the WGA negotiated a 46% increase in residuals for streaming programs to take effect starting in 2022. The company's most recent offer further improves on these amounts. Entertainment attorney and journalist Jonathan Handel says this is nowhere close to being over. This strike will last at least eight weeks and uh, possibly uh, longer through the summer. Uh, that has the potential to delay or even destroy the fall network television season as far as scripted programming goes. And until both sides can find a middle ground, Hollywood is on pause. Oh, I want to dispel the rumor that anybody wanted to strike. A scene writers say no one wanted to write. We really had hoped that the studios would meet us, you know, somewhere close to what we all think is a very reasonable ask. And we reached out tonight to WGA for its response to the studio's rebuttal, but we have not heard back yet. I have, however, heard that more pep rallies are scheduled for the coming days here. As for the big question, when will both sides get back to that negotiating table? That's still unclear. Reporting live in Studio City, Lauren Posen, KCAL News. Yeah, that is the big question. Both sides digging in. All right, Lauren, thank you so much. We should mention Paramount Global, which owns KCAL News, is part of the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Also, many of our KCAL News producers and writers are WGA members. However, they work under a different contract and are not part of the strike. Hi. New tonight, the National Weather Service has just confirmed two tornadoes hit Southern California today, one in Carson and one in Compton. Trees uprooted, car windows smashed, and the front of a... Both were...